Hey, y'all. I figured out why Trump's getting the brakes beat off of him by that Kamala Harris lady. This, yeah, the black lady. Hey, look, you know, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Look, is she or ain't she black? Okay, one day y'all say she's black. Next day y'all say she ain't black. Which is it already? Okay, am I supposed to not like her because she is or because she ain't? Y'all, figure this crap out and let me know. But anyway, she's beating the brakes off of him in this election is the point. And I know why is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay? Anyway, it's because of their campaign styles are different. See, Trump's campaign style is, um, I'm going to talk bad about the country all the time. I'm going to run the country down. I'm going to make people depressed, make people scared, you know, all that stuff. And it's lies, y'all. She don't lie. What she does is she, she's got this positive message for the, for the country and it, and it makes people feel like that, you know what, we're moving forward. We're going to, we're going to move forward in a positive way. And then Trump tells everybody that we're a shithole country and that the country's going to hell in a handbag. And, um, and then he makes up these big dangerous lies and stuff, y'all, like that um, Aurora, Colorado. We know that was a lie. Uh, the Venezuelan gang members taking over Aurora, Colorado. Think, remember, we got out there on all the social medias and said the Hell's Angels was coming to save everybody and stuff like that. And none of it was even real. And that embarrassed the crap out of us because we looked like idiots saying stupid shit like that. Um, but uh, And then we moved on the next week and we started talking about Haitian immigrants eating people's cats and dogs in Springfield, Ohio and all that. And then Trump got on stage and repeated all that crap and, and stuck to it. And then J.D. Vance comes out there and says, yeah, it was all made up. Oh, man, see, that's the stuff right there that's driving his numbers down bigly is what it is. Is that stuff right there lying to people. Well, lying to people is what it is. Trying to fear monger and lie to people. People don't like that. And people are smart and intelligent. Um, and they don't like being lied to. Um, but see, I watched his North Carolina rally. And um, he said that also that the government was paying for illegals to come over here and was giving them gender reassignment surgeries for free that's what he told everybody there in north carolina all about four or five hundred of them and and uh and they just cheered or booed or whatever it was they did you know uh nobody believes it uh, nobody i don't think anybody in the in the in the crowd believed him yeah that's probably why they started leaving early like they do at all those rallies like that kamala harris lady pointed out they really do i watched them do it because he says stuff like that that ain't happening nowhere in the world, you know. Um, and then he wanted to go on and talk about how she never worked at McDonald's. And that he's got proof he sent people there to that McDonald's that she said she worked at. And then people said she never worked there um, back in 1980. I, I wonder how many people at that McDonald's still worked there from 1980. Hmm. Um, so anyway, people people's like that. This dude's crazy, I think is what they're saying. Why, are we, why do we care if she worked at McDonald's? Nobody cares. Um and then uh, he he talks about uh, oh he brought that up again the how these doctors are executing babies after birth that ain't happening nowhere in, in in this country at all I don't think anywhere in the world because that's M U R D E R is what that called red rum you know uh, and doctors ain't doing that they'd be locked up in prison for doing that it'd be all over the news if that was going on it, it ain't happening is what I'm saying he knows it's not happening we know it's not happening and he's a big fat liar. See, he spreads lies and stuff like that all the time, just like the lie that he spreads, you know, whenever he says that uh, kids are going to schools, the schools are snatching them up and doing gender reassignment surgeries on them without them or their parents' permission. Uh, see, just a big old fat lie. His lies are getting dumber and dumber. That's why people are leaving his rallies earlier and not even showing up most of the time. Plus, he's paying about half the people to be there. We know that, too. Uh, which, by the way, his campaign said he's, uh, the reason why he's not rallying as much as he used to is he's too old and he's too broke. They admitted it. They said that, y'all. Um, so anyway, she has a nice positive message. He has this gloom and doom that the country's going to hell in a handbag and, and, the, country, and the United States is a big old shithole. And people don't like hearing that about their country because uh, some Democrats are patriotic. You know, they're not fascist uh, traitors. So uh, anyway, and I know, y'all, that we said the reason why that we're voting for Donald Trump was because of things was better under Trump. Remember that? Gas prices was cheaper and we had low inflation. Remember all that? Guess what? Gas prices right now are the same as they was in 2019 pre-pandemic. Yep. Same as they was in 2019. And guess what else? Inflation is at 2.5%. Guess what it was in 2019? 2.44%. That's a, that's a half percent 
uh, I'm sorry, uh, less than half percent, uh, less. Uh, so it's basically the same. Inflation's the same, gas prices are the same. So really there ain't no reason for us to even vote for Trump at all because Kamala Harris and Joe Biden's already fixed everything, just like it was in 2019. Now, if you're paying a whole lot at the grocery store and stuff, it's probably because you live in a rural area and them people don't have any competition. So what you got is Republican business owners sticking it to your ass. Inmate Trump, 2024.